Hello everyone, welcome here. First, I must say that this video was inspired by Sinia from Useless. I will leave a link to her video in the description box below. Thank you so much, Sinia, for the great inspiration. If you're new here, please consider clicking the button down below and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's cut to the point and get started. As I committed to a low buy year, I tracked all of my purchases. Tracking my purchases allowed me to be more intentional and mindful with everything I implemented into my wardrobe and monitor my goal to buy less. Did I succeed? Maybe. Let me take you to my closet and I'll show you everything. So, welcome to my closet. I'll put the camera down and get everything out. Eventually, I bought 22 pieces, including clothes, underwear, and accessories. Sounds like a lot, I know. All of them, except the last two, are secondhand and bought on Poshmark. I bought most of them with money I earned selling my own clothes I decluttered during the last year. When setting goals for a low buy year, we have to be very mindful for what is essential to us. We moved to the States from a much warmer place and I got a new job demanded a different dress code than what I used to. I'm sharing this with you with the intention of presenting a true picture of my choices and my wardrobe. It might be too much for some people and very little for others, but the idea is to become aware of your choices and aim for better. When we moved, I got rid of all the items that no longer served me and my needs. I wanted to rebuild a closet that is timeless and neutral with pieces I can use anytime for any occasion. I bought a white button down, a couple of dress pants, and some basics that I can easily create outfits with. On top of that, I added a few seasonal items. I wanted to incorporate pieces that will hold the test of time and I will be able to mix and match with everything else I own. I needed a few pieces that will be clean and formal and yet be suitable for the hot and humid summer and some cozy sweaters for the winter. Some of these items I already owned and had to replace since they broke or are worn out. Some were pieces that are suitable for the wardrobe I'm building and I know will serve me for years to come. The one thing I bought new last year was underwear. Most of the pieces I owned were four to five years old and it was time for something new. I was in the hunt for good and sustainable brands for so long before I found these. After a lot of research, I found Cup. I read hundreds of great reviews and decided to give them a try. And let me tell you, these are the best quality, most comfortable pieces of underwear you will ever own in your life. And it's not sponsored. That's it for today. For those of you who stick around, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video and that I inspired you to pay more attention to what you bring into your life and most importantly, why. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more content like that every Monday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.